All right, everybody, we are just jumping in tonight since we're starting late. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything, even to... But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. I hope that your search will prove successful and bring Sarah back to us soon. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. Alright, let's see what we want to build up. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and do... Do a subterfuge, because why not? We'll do linguistics, and we'll do etiquette. Don't move. Wait, I don't... So you've come at last. Easy. Let me turn around. What is that? What, what do I have? Disconcerted. Effort points cost plus one. Holy, okay. Oh my god, mother, what has happened to you? Who are you? What? But, mother... Who are you? It's me, Louis, your son. No, you lie. You won't catch me out like that. Louis. Louis isn't here. He obeys his mother. He would never have come here. Mother, I don't know what you've been through, but lower your arm, please. You think I was born yesterday, do you? But it won't work. I'm begging you. One day you will fall. Mother! Why are you here? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, so she's immune to occultism. I'm here to help you. You have nothing to fear. If only it were so simple. You are evil incarnate. Every word that comes out of your mouth is sharper than a razor blade. I don't wish you any harm. Really, Mother, it's me, Louis. Don't speak to me about him. You will never She's get him. Com Mother, stop crazy. torturing yourself. It really is me, Louis. How can I convince you? If you really are who you say you are, what was the saying I taught you? You've been telling it to me since I was three years old, Mother. How could I ever forget it? Oh God, now I'm gonna Always have to remember keep it. Mind logical. And open. You knew it. You are smart. You're getting me muddled up. Tell me, rather, whose place were we at when I told you I was coming here? Mother, I really am your son. You can't trick me. We were in Paris. We were investigating an art dealer. His name? I just told you, you can't trick von me. Borchert. His name was Von Borchert. My God, everything is lost then. I refuse to believe it's really you, Louis. Uh, Otherwise, it's missing. all this would be for nothing. <laughs> Mother, I, I don't know what happened to you, but don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. I'm here for you and- No, I ordered you not to come with me. I received a letter and Lord Mortimer informed me of your disappearance. So I took the- No, no, no. It's not true. It's a nightmare. Don't tell me that. Have you spoken to him? Oh, shit. He's completely panicked because I spoke to Mortimer. 
It seems she's afraid of what he might have said to me about her. Did he speak to you? No. Mother, I don't know what you're imagining. Psychology? But don't Maybe? worry. Everything will be all right. If you're worried about what I might think about Elizabeth Adams, honestly... Oh, Louie! Elizabeth is the last of my worries right now. I did what I could for her, but it was too late. Okay. Very well. Logical and open, works. Louis. Since you arrived on the island, has anything strange happened to you? Depends on what you mean by strange. Yes. A hundred percent. Do you want to tell me about your relationship with Elizabeth Adams? Louis, I don't know what you found out. But just know that I did everything I could to help her. You mean the voices that she claimed to hear? Look, this is neither the place nor the time to speak about it. Now shut up and listen to me. We might still have a chance. Oh, good. I got her to believe it's me. It's a guardian trait. What does that do? One skill to occultism. Is going yeah. to play out right here. Uh, so I'm going to pause real quick and explain to wifey here what she missed. Because um, she's missed a lot. So anyone also that is confused as to what's going on and why mommy thinks we're not who we say we are. So she's been missing this whole time. And when we got to the island, we had a vision on the docks of her murdering Emily Hillsboro. Um... And Sir Gregory Holm tried to stop her. So we come to find out later on that Emily Hillsborough is actually an identical twin. She has a sister, Emma, who came to this island before. So the way that it worked was Emma came to the island, was going to sail back, and her and Emily would decide who is going to come to the council and meet with William Mortimer. The boat came back, and Emma was not there. So, Emily came to the island. Um, she knows that our mother killed her sister. Um, so what we saw was not a vision of the future, but was happening at that exact moment. We know that because later on, we have... A vision of William Mortimer and Sir Gregory Holm uh, playing chess. And we're one of the servants in the room. Um, and when they're playing chess, Napoleon, Napoleon Bonaparte comes in. Uh, Sir Gregory Holm leaves and starts walking down the hall. And I believe George Washington came knocking on our door. Um, <clears throat> it's either George Washington or it was... Uh, Giuseppe Piaggi. I don't remember which part in the story it happened. Both of them come and knock on our doors at certain points. Um, so it was one of them knocking on our door. We wake up with a bloody nose and someone's knocking on the door. We go and answer and it's them. Um, so that was the first hint of it. And then we had another vision. Um, and for the life of me, I can't remember what happened in that vision. Um, but it was very clear it was something that was happening right now. So that's when we officially learn that his visions are taking place at the exact moment in time. Um, so we know for a fact that Emma is dead. We know for a fact that mommy killed her. And we know for a fact that Sir Gregory Holm saw it happen. Uh, we took the opportunity to convince Elizabeth... To leave the island um, because she saw she saw Sarah and freaked out so we convinced her to leave um, but that was before we found out that Elizabeth actually drugged us during the conversation um, she convinced us to drink with her and her alcohol choice was absolutely horrid um, classified as rock gut and we could barely keep down a glass. And she says that, um, yeah, it doesn't even, uh, the medicine doesn't even affect her anymore. Um, so it's interesting to see how it affects other people. Her drink is laced with laudanum, which is essentially opium. 
So she drugged us and then left. Um, because she needed to be able to trust you with information. Drinking with her was how she told you about what your mother did to her. Um, so she was uh, abandoned at birth by her father, uh, uh, John Adams, the vice president of the United States. Um, her mother had like straight, she was like a straight up schizo. Uh, and when Elizabeth was born, all of that behavior immediately stopped. So they assumed that the evil that was inside the mother transferred to Elizabeth. Um, Elizabeth hears voices constantly. So they went to Sarah, a master in the occult, to try to get rid of the evil inside of her. All of her scars, her tattoos, everything like that is a result of our mother trying to help her. Quote, unquote. Now, keep in mind, this is back... It, we're still with George Washington as the first president of the United States actively. So keep in mind, this is way back when stuff like that would unfortunately be commonplace, trying to get rid of evils. Um, but she's basically been tortured systematically her entire life. Um, she keeps in contact with her older sister. So that's probably where she ran to. Um, we got accused of murder uh, because Elizabeth was gone. We were found on her floor. So Sir Gregory Holm, Sir William Mortimer, and Jacques Peru walked up. We were sitting down in Mortimer's office. Um, these other two walked up, and Holm just straight up came up to us and was like, so did you murder Elizabeth Adams? And the response was like, well, wait, what? Elizabeth is dead? And uh, Mortimer was like, um, I think we need to calm down here because we have no evidence that she's actually dead. So maybe we should watch what we say, Mr. Holm. Like, and he's like, right, my apologies. Not dead. But what'd you do with her? Because you were found passed out on her floor and she's gone. So, so that's kind of what's been going on. We, um, we found clues about where a mother might be and who she was con conversing with. Uh, it was actually a really cool puzzle system that we figured out last night. I, um, I'm going to upload the video to YouTube, guys. I highly recommend you watch it. Um, it was really fun. So we had a whole bunch of portraits of uh, the apostles. And um, we had a Bible sitting out. And we had to use the portraits of the apostles with cryptic messages from our mother. Uh, let me see if... We still have, uh, okay, so there's the note from the Bible that we had, um, but yeah, so we, we found a Bible and we had to use the passages, like we had to use chapter and verses, um, based on which book and using the clues from the paintings, um, so the one that threw me last night was there was a number four on the portrait of, of the Apostle John. And then um, there's another portrait of the Apostle John, and he was the 13th Apostle. And the clue was something like, um, after seeing the acts of the apostles or after seeing how the acts were the only true, uh, were the only true meaning or, um, the only truth or something like that. Um, John went to his, uh, John went to the, or John went left and, uh, sought the wisdom of all the apostles that followed. There was only one apostle after him and that was Paul. He was the youngest. Um, so I thought I had this all figured out and I was completely wrong. And then it clicked the acts. Well, there's a book called the acts of the apostles. So once John discovered that the acts were all that mattered, now I, and there were, um, before him, there were 12 apostles, uh, and he like he had the number four, so I actually found like chapter four, verse twelve in Acts of Paul. 
So it's like, that's how it worked out. And I was like, oh my god, the Acts of the Apostles was the clue. Because after he realized the Acts were the only truth. It's like, I just, I didn't register. I was thinking about? all these different puzzles. It was really cool, though. It was a really unique puzzle. All Mortimer's guests have arrived by now, And I was actually yes, kind of have. mentally exhausted <laughs> after it. It Perfect. was... The conference it was good. Will be able to begin. Indeed. It shouldn't be long and Let me finish. We haven't time. You will attend this conference and you must find out what Mortimer is up to. Don't trust him, Louis. Understood? Louis, I made a mistake by coming here. We are in the lion's den. What do you mean? Mortimer home their guests watch what happens do you think it's normal that the representatives of the most powerful nations are here all on their own without anyone else on an island in the middle of nowhere in total secrecy no not really but louis they shape the world they manipulate us everything is decided here <coughs> and now they create and break states, provoke wars, destitute governments, or decide who will be their leaders. Open your eyes! Mother, calm yourself, please. Nothing is impossible for them. They are capable of reaching everyone, wherever they may be. Through high society banquets, they model the future of us all. And it isn't at all an issue for them. And? What do you propose? It's time to act, my son. You will go to this conference, and from the inside, you'll do everything you can to prevent Mortimer's plan from going ahead smoothly. We can talk later. I'll explain everything. But why? Do as I say, Louis. It's of the utmost importance. Beware of Mortimer. He won't let anything stand in his way. You promised me that after- Yes, after. Go now. Yes, mother, I'm going, I'm going. Um... And we One discovered that she threatened together. Emily Hillsborough, Lord Mortimer. Emma's sister, came um, to this island looking for her sister. She probably won't hesitate to take revenge. So we found uh, a note with a stone sword in Mortimer's private study. And it was basically threatening him to come and face her alone. Um, so we found where the sword went in, in this garden. And uh, when we activated it properly, it led down um, <clears throat> a stone spiral staircase. And then we found a dead servant on the ground. And that's when mom came up with a gun behind us, claiming we weren't her son. I'm really curious as to who she thinks we might be, or might have been. It's the signal that the conference is starting, Louis. Don't be concerned about the Duchess. She's the last of our worries. Oh, let's get this. And we'll head back inside. What, what's over there? That's the wrong way, so we need to go this way. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. There's the alchemical symbol of the earth on the lid. Earth? I think I have both keys. Yeah, I do. Ooh, Carmelite water. And royal jelly. Mysterious notes. Ooh. Oh, we got... Is that this? Yeah, we got a second one of those. All right, all right. Thorn. Straight ahead. Full of golden elixir. The 
this jelly. Yeah. Okay. Time for the mysterious conference. It's gonna be interesting. So we're supposed to stop Mortimer from having his plans come to fruition. of amber. Here we go, right here. Add 12 fragments of amber. Increase your effort points by one. Nice, so we just got two effort points for the price of one there. I'll take it. the feeling we're gonna need all this stuff. It's gonna be rough. Trying to get by with like barely using any, but it's tough. It's actually really tough. Alright. Uh, Washington's talking with Mortimer. Let's talk with these guys. My son. Glad you're here. It seems Lord Mortimer's been waiting for you to arrive before beginning. What a pity your mother isn't here for the conference. I hope I'll be able to see her before I leave. I still have a very important letter to give to her. Feeling all right, Louis? You look like you're miles away. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Lord Mortimer wants to talk to you, Louis. Don't make him wait. I don't know if you ever found what you were looking for in the garden, but Mortimer is waiting for you. I suggest you get a move on. You say it as if you were afraid of him. Psychology. Can I do psychology against him? I mean to questioning. You'd like to say, but something's holding you back. What is going on between oh, you two? Is a vulnerability. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I believed in him. I followed him to the best of my ability. I championed his ideas, defended his decisions, and then, without even realizing it, I became lost. The siren's song, Monsieur de Richet. You wake up one morning, not knowing where you are, and you think about everything you've done for a man who wasn't even worth it. For a man who has no respect for you, who uses you, and who drops you as soon as he no longer needs you. For me, it's too late now. <coughs> but you, you still have a choice. Don't respond to his call, sir. Very interesting. Good evening, gentlemen. Are we ready? The much-awaited conference is about to begin? That is what we have all been waiting for. I believe that Lord Mortimer wishes to speak to you before it begins. You should go and see him. Are you quite sure, sir? Is there not a little mistake somewhere? Any other I do not imagine My whole life. Noob. No, if you are serious about it, I'm 
Ah, Louis, I've been expecting you. I think I talked. Uh, thank you first. for joining us. We are about to begin our conference. Let me explain what is at stake. Thank you kindly, but what do you expect of me exactly? My mother's the one who's supposed to attend, not me. That is indeed what was initially intended. Unfortunately, she still hasn't been found, and my guests can't stay here indefinitely. The conference must begin, and it would be truly beneficial to the Order to join in the project. Consequently, I would like you to replace her during her absence. What is at stake here is of the utmost <coughs> importance. It's important that the French Order gets their say. And should you need any advice, don't worry, you are not alone, Louis. Very well. In concrete terms, how do you organize your discussions? A conference is always organized the same way. There are two masters of ceremony who determine an important subject. You and Sir Gregory, I presume. Exactly. We shall be the masters of ceremony. It was our obligation to each bring to the table several guests in order to debate a subject. Once the debate is closed, a decision will be made by a vote of all the participants. By a unanimous vote. If the project is not agreed on by all, <coughs> then it will be rejected. And neither of the two masters of ceremony have the right to vote. It's up to the guests alone to decide, Louis. In other words, us. Gregory and myself are merely the go-betweens. Finally, if the project is validated, each guest goes home and starts working to make it happen. It can take years. So, Mortimer and Holm have no say, but they get to pick the topics. And it has to be a unanimous vote for it can to go forward. Can you give me a forward. brief explanation of the aim of it all? Of course, Louis. I was coming to that. The aim of these meetings is to bring together the most influential people in order to think together about the future. But the future of who? Of the world, Louis. Oh, excuse our me. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all, and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. Do you often hold this kind of society dinner? In general, once a year, but in actual fact, it tends to be events that dictate our gatherings. How long have you been active? Oh, this tradition has more or less always existed, Louis. It has continued from generation to generation. Can you give me an example of an event that was decided here before being implemented in the outside world? Well, take the French Revolution. It was decided right here two years before its implementation in France. Concerning the case of the French Revolution, oh, excuse me. I wasn't invited. But as far as the American <laughs> Revolution is concerned, Louis, I can testify that we planned it five years before implementing it, for example. Louis, let me keep you a moment. I would like to let you in on a secret before we begin, because I'm going to need your assistance. You see, the project I'm going to present concerns the territory of Louisiana in North America. It's currently Spanish territory, and I'm going to make the proposition to the Assembly for it to become French. My idea is to increase the territory of the United States. The first stone of this vast project consists of getting Spain to cede Louisiana to France. Once it becomes French, France will hand it over to the United States, which will then allow them to double the size of their territory. And that's where you come in. France and the United States, hand in hand, two democracies illuminating the world. I mean, that sounds great. Conviction in science. Lord Mortimer, I'm sure you're aware that Louisiana is hardly prime quality land. I wouldn't be exaggerating to call it marshland. How is acquiring land they won't know what to do with going to strengthen the United States? Think further, Louis. The United States won't stop there. Once they've acquired Louisiana, nothing will stop them. 
All they would have to do then is keep pushing toward the west to take the whole North American continent. So you intend to get rid of the Spanish? They are purely transitory. This is the settlers' home. It is natural for them to want to develop their nation to become one of the greatest powers of this world. As for the Spanish, there are just a handful of them actually on site. And if need be, we'll see to it that they are sufficiently occupied in Europe so that their focus is not on the North American continent. Moreover, Spain really only cares about its colonies in South America. It's hardly my fault if they are not capable of seeing the potential in the North American territories. The concept of royalty is from bygone times. It is time to lead the way to democracy. Take a look at them. Apart from President Washington, they all belong to monarchies. Do you really think they won't resist? Of course they'll fight, fearful as they are of losing their precious privileges. But the world needs visionaries, like you, like your mother. It's a pity Sarah isn't here to see it. She only knew about a tiny part of the project. I hope I can count on you, Louis. It's time to start now. I must ask you to keep it to yourself for the time being. Take a seat, follow the discussions. We'll have an opportunity to catch up later, and you'll be able to let me know your thoughts. Blast it, Mother. You didn't know about everything. This project is commendable. Why tell me to beware? Could you have gotten it wrong? Yeah, like, I, I'm with Louie here. Like, the project is great because it expands the, the North American territory as friends, is world history. I suppose we get started. So, why is that a bad thing? He's got to be hiding something. Like, he's got to gain from this somehow. First of all, I would but, like to thank you for taking the time to come. The honor is ours, my lord. As per our custom, here we are Oof, all I apologize. together to discuss the face of tomorrow's Had a busy world. last couple of hours. Even though there may be certain tensions between our nations, I must ask you to keep an open mind. <clears throat> As Sarah de Richet is unable to be among us, please welcome Louis de Richet who will represent the Golden Order and will vote on its behalf when the time comes. Welcome among us, Louis. Welcome, Monsieur. I hope he'll be more effective than his mother regarding the protection of the King of France. The Order has proved particularly inefficient. Come, oh, Manuel, you're not going to spoil our visit. The Order's mission was not to protect King Louis XVI, as far as I am aware. We are talking about the King of Divine Blood, for goodness sake. It seemed obvious to me he needed protecting. If the Golden Order wants to pride itself on being an influential organization, it should have kept him alive. I'm sorry about the fate of the King of France, Duke Manuel. However, I'm surprised at your remark. How can a man like me have changed the course of things where a man like you, powerful, capable of influencing international politics, was unable to do any better. Perhaps we may begin, Lord Mortimer. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> I have a dream that our nation... I basically just gave him the political middle finger. More now than ever before. A dream that, for the sake of common good, we will do what it takes to ensure stability in the modern world. <clears throat> I have a dream that we shall lead by example and ensure that the American territory may remain in peace. Thank you for the thought, Lord Mortimer, but I don't see where you're leading. I'm coming to it, Mr. President. I need not remind you that North America is currently divided between the United States on the East Coast and Spain, which occupies the remaining two-thirds of the continent. Well, I propose that Spain cede the center of the continent to France. Namely, all of Louisiana. Louisiana? But, well, it is not for sale. Lord Mortimer, I sincerely hope I have not come all this way just to hear you ramble on about what Spain should and should not do. When we went to all the trouble of gaining the territory a few years ago, it was not just to lose it today. Have I made myself clear? What did I tell you, William? You speak of union. And yet here you are, about to tear us apart. Duke Manuel, I perfectly understand you. But rest assured, you will soon adore my proposition. 
You shall see. Well, since you give me the choice, my good fellow, allow me to doubt it. However, I am impatient to hear what Spain could possibly gain from the sale of Louisiana. I never spoke of a sale, my good fellow. What? But I, I do not understand. There is one more territory left to conquer, if I'm not mistaken, in the Northwest. It is, of course, occupied by your notorious Indians, but... We shall soon be rid of the savages, so that is not the question. Duke, these savages, as you call them, were there before you. They are on their homeland. As much as the black people of Africa, Monsieur de Richet, that does not stop your dear France from massacring them and sending them like cattle to Mr. Washington's cotton plantations to provide him with cheap labor. So you keep your morals to yourself, if you please. Senor, I would not like to be associated with that. The subject of black slaves in the United States of America is a complex subject, which we shall resolve at a future date. Hmm. Senor Godoy, you must know that France will soon ban these barbaric practices. Oh, do not get on your high horse, Monsieur Frenchman. The only reason why France has ceased trading in slaves is because of the commercial blockade that Great Britain has imposed against you. The instant the shipping lanes have been restored, France will again treat these people like cattle. Come now, my friends. Let us not digress. Anyway, these primitive people have no souls, Louis. We bring the good word to them in order to save them. You'll see. Colonization brings with it many benefits, too. Uh, excuse me. If you don't mind, Your Eminence, uh, I shall continue. Duke Manuel, I believe that Spain should cede Louisiana <coughs> to France free of charge. This is utterly grotesque, Lord Mortimer. What a strange example you set for your young protégé. Isn't that so, Monsieur de Richet? Do you understand anything of this proposition? Mm, can I use politics against... Where is he? Where is he? Godoy. Ooh, I don't know. If I were you, Senor Godoy, I would think twice before stirring up a scandal. I beg your pardon? Given the size of your colonies, you won't be able to keep them for long. A number of countries are eyeing them as we speak. The United States would have no trouble taking them. For all intents and purposes, you have no army in place. By wanting to keep everything, you risk losing it all, especially your colonies in South America, which are far more valuable to you. That is indeed the danger, Duke Manuel. If it comes to war over Louisiana, you will lose. And probably a good deal more than you now imagine. Young man, you are indeed a dark horse, aren't you? I must say, William, I find your project mostly disfavors me. I thought you were my friend. And I am, Mr. President. That is why I'm doing everything in my power to calm your expansionist fervor. France, in Louisiana, should persuade you not to attempt anything to take the territory by force. Louisiana is a vast wetland where you would needlessly lose most of your troops. It would weaken you and offer certain nations the perfect opportunity to take back your famous United States. I am protecting you from yourself, George. Trust me. I understand, but with friends like you, sir, I certainly don't need any more enemies. I hope you know what you're doing. Am I imagining things, or does it look like Washington isn't aware of Mortimer's plan? Not to put too fine mm. a point on it, Lord Mortimer, uh, but I doubt the Holy See would be in favor of Catholic Louisiana being handed over to secular revolutionaries and king killers. I should think Monsieur de Richet has an opinion on this subject, does he not? 
Mm, erudition, politics, Giuseppe, manipulation. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to use erudition, so. If France took the Papal States, their opinion over the sale of Louisiana would be definitely resolved. Good Lord. You are talking of an invasion of Italy. Don't take it the wrong way, Your Eminence. Colonization brings with it many benefits. You'll see. Very fine, <laughs> Monsieur de Richet. <laughs> Mi auguro che insegnerete l'educazione a questo giovanotto presuntuoso, Sir Gregory. There it is. I there hope it is. that you will teach this pretentious young man some manners, Sir Gregory. It looks like I won't be just Ooh. making friends here. In any case, my lord, I doubt the English crown will agree. Ich will say that Emily nie Preußen wird diese Vereinbarung akzeptieren. I assure you, Emily, Good thing I leveled up linguistics. will never accept this agreement. Volner looks like he's set on ruining Mortimer's plan. Duchess, I am persuaded that we shall find a common ground. That's enough, William. These are great times. We don't care about the fate of Louisiana. That worthless expanse of putrid swamps interests no one but yourself. Speak for yourself, my friend. Hold on there, Mr. Royal Gigolo. Lower the volume. Mr. Royal Let's Gigolo. <laughs> Home, Godoy, and now Volner? Mortimer's adversaries are ready to tear each other to pieces, and he takes a malicious pleasure in watching it happen. How dare Gentlemen, you! Gentlemen, let us try to remain calm. There you are, William. See where your projects have taken us, as per usual. Chaos! That's enough. I'm tired. We shall continue this discussion tomorrow, but <coughs> please be aware that your project will never be ratified. Those who are opposed to this project, follow me. Are you coming with us, Monsieur de Richer? Come, Gregory. I think Louis would rather stay. Wouldn't you, Louis? Ooh, what should I do? Oh. Okay, so... Mother told us not to let Mortimer's plans come to fruition. But this doesn't seem like a bad thing. Ooh. Wifey, what do you think? <laughs> so Mortimer wants to have Spain give Louisiana to France. France will then give it to the United States. So that way, Washington can expand and they can continue to push west. Holm does not want this to happen. <coughs> All these people here don't want this to happen. The remainder do. So Mortimer's plan is essentially to have the United States expand without the loss of lives. Well, that sounds like a great thing. But our mother told us that his plan must not come to fruition. Can we trust I think so. I mean, I don't really see a reason not to. Like, she's been kind of shady, but... Like, she knows what's going on. She just hasn't had time to tell us. So... I can help with what seems like this really good benign plan. I don't know. We know that he either is the descendant of a long line of Mortimers or he is hundreds of years old. So we know that. Mother's reasoning for we need to be wary of him is... Think about it. Why would every single world leader come to this secluded island by themselves 
to, uh, without a single person with them because they manipulate the entire world at our expense to further themselves. And she said that no matter what, Mortimer's plan must not come to fruition. Okay. At the risk okay, so we're going to go with home then. My lord, I'd rather follow Sir Gregory. I don't think this is a place for the order. Louis? No, let him go, Mr. President. Everyone is free to choose. It does suck that George Washington's been super helpful and kind the entire time. But he's also um, the Grand Master of the, so the North American blind? branch of the order. He keeps this up. He'll lead our countries to their destruction. Don't worry, we shall counter him, Sir Gregory. We have to act immediately. Calm down, Gregory. We only have to vote against his project, and that's it. They haven't got a chance. Just one vote will suffice. True. There is no chance of a unanimous vote. And he knows it. He must be preparing something else. What is he plotting? I know about his plan. plan. What did you just say, Louis? <clears throat> his aim is for the United States to take the whole of the North American continent. But that is impossible. A democratic superpower. I don't understand. That has nothing to do with the coming vote. You will ask for France to take over Louisiana, and then hand it over to the United States, and so double the size of their territory. Once that's done, he will just need to push a bit more, and you will lose North America, Duke Manuel. God's blood! Has he gone mad? No, Johan. He has always been mad. <sighs> Louis, I would like to thank you for what you've just revealed. If not for you, I don't know if we'd have been capable of deciphering his plans quickly enough to be able to counter him. What are we going to do now that we know about it? Destroy him. No! We'll beat him at his own game, my friends. His plan begins with Louisiana, which is still yours, <coughs> Manuel. He will begin with you. Expect to receive an envoy, French most probably. He will try to convince you by every possible means. Whatever he says. Whatever he promises, you have just one response. It's war. If war is what you want, war is what you'll get. On your own territory, in your homes. Enough games. Spain will join the coalition against France and declare war. You too, Duchess Hillsborough. You will speak to the Queen so that Great Britain commits to going to war with France. What do you expect? Papal states, said Gregory. What do you think? That they hold a mass? They will go to war, of course. What is it that you didn't understand in what I just told you? We all declare war on France. Militarily, politically, and financially. And me, Sir Gregory? How can I help? Louis, you have won my trust. The order will have to act in France. But even before that, I'm going to need you. Right here and right now. Leave me now. I have to prepare for tomorrow. Let's meet early tomorrow morning for the next phase of the conference, which promises to be most exciting. Uh, Louis? I'd like to see you a moment, please. Thank you for signing with me today. I won't forget it. I'm going to need you. Help me counter Mortimer on his own ground. Right here. I'm sure he'll try and win some of you over. He needs our votes. Now, you leave that to me. In the meantime, I must ask you to go and see President Washington and persuade him to trust me and join us. I'll do my best. You should go right away. There's no time to lose. William already has a head start on us. Very well. I'll go right away. All right, so we're working against Mortimer now. All right. Go talk to Jorge Washington. Hey, 
Peru's name tag's fallen off, and his door is ajar. Ooh. Ooh, someone's angry. A ruble. A pattern a of ruble. four circles. <clears throat> Dear Monsieur Peru, I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial for the renovation of the western wing of the orphanage. The children you sent are doing marvelously well, and little Pierre will soon be walking. Some of them still sometimes suffer nightmares about their parents on the scaffold, but I expect they will cease in due course. Should you decide to send us more, please note that another 20 beds will soon be ready. All right, I've retrieved everything. Oh. Peru is actually a good guy, despite being a ginormous douche nozzle. All right. Records of the police. What do we have here? Notes intended for the police lieutenant of Paris. It's a list of people under surveillance in Paris. And there's some well-known names on it. This is valuable information. This shouldn't be lying around. Hmm. All right. We discovered psychology is a vulnerability. Okay. Okay. And we got another manuscript. There we go. All right. Anything else in the room? Golden elixir. Consume hmm. without excess. else. All right, let's check the balcony then. Oh, clearly not that one. Check the balcony. Oh, he's got eyes right into this garden. Leave me, Dorishe. I don't feel like talking. Are you gonna keep sticking to me like glue? Hell's bells, I don't deserve this. There's nothing you can do for me. What's going on? Maybe I can help. Not anymore, you can't. Not against him. But thanks for the offer. Who are you talking about? You know very well. Lord Mortimer? You talk as if you're in danger, monsieur. Has he threatened you in any way? I'm done for, monsieur de Richet. I played with the devil. I lost. Don't you think it would be good for you to shed your burden? That is my intention. You're worried. You have a secret. You're afraid of talking about it. You're protecting someone who is dear to you, and apparently you're prepared to die for that person. Twice over. Are you afraid for your daughter? What are you? Be careful, Derise. Be very careful what you're about to say if you don't want to go flying off the balcony. What do you know about her? Nothing apart from the fact that you love her and you're saying goodbye to her. I read your letter on your desk. I, I ought to get rid of you. Perhaps I can help you. The hero syndrome. You always think you can fix things. She will be safer far away from me. That's it. What's more, no one must find out where or who she is. Is that clear? Perfectly. But why say goodbye to her? She must still need you. 
The only thing she needs is for him never to find her. Time is short, Louis. Follow my advice. Find your mother if she's still alive, and get out of here. Flee this damned island of doom. Are we in danger? You've been in danger since the minute you set foot on this rock. He wants you. He's sizing you up. He is circling around you. It's blindingly obvious. And you, flattered as you are, will soon be running around for him just to keep your place among his precious few. It feels so good to be accepted by him. You will experience power, wealth, glory. He will give it all to you. Until one day, you will feel so eaten up inside that you will no longer know who you are. You will find yourself void of all conscience, of all freedom. You can no longer look at yourself in the mirror without feeling sick. Refuse, I tell you. From now on, say no. No! You're a good man, Louis. You look after yourself. As for me, I shall take back my freedom tomorrow morning. You bud, bud. I'm through with it all. There you go. Back in the saddle. I'm glad to hear it. Come on. It's late. I'd like to get some rest. Very well. I'll leave you then. See you tomorrow, monsieur. All right. I think we helped him. Freedom is a horn decorated with a cocaine. Uh, Napoleon. It must belong to a French soldier. It's a beautiful weapon. Levy Damask Blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Discovered immunity of conviction to Napoleon Bonaparte. Let's get to Washington's room. <clears throat> Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Duke's Is Washington. Oh. It's Godoy. That's me. So oh, that's Piaggi. That's nobody. Washington. The Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. <clears throat> Locked. Locked. Drat. President's personal reserve of laudanum, and judging by the quantity, he can't go without it. Ah, Oof. there's also a letter. W. Tompton. Washington's desk. I'd like to invite you to join me as planned at my place. I have a project to share you. It is time that the United States played a more important role on the world stage. Senior Jorge Washington, where are you? Carmelite water. The 
They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Louis? What? What are you doing in my room? Diversion etiquette. All right. Well, I, I wanted to have a word with you, but just between ourselves. Here, the walls have ears. You're right. Caution is the mother of safety. Well, since you're here, can I get you something to drink? No, no, thank you, Mr. President. As you wish. Well, Louis, it's getting late, and this is not my first conference, so let's get straight to the point. You are here to motivate me to change sides. I have decided not to follow Mortimer. I noticed. Every man must make his own choice, what can we say? That's the political game. And you did not commit to supporting Mortimer, so there's nothing for you to feel bad about. So what can I do for you? Okay. President Washington, I regret that my situation is contrary to yours, especially as I really do respect you. Me too, Louis. Let us not mix business and emotion. Understood. I've just come from a meeting with Sir Gregory and his supporters. They are all rallying against Mortimer's project. That is to be expected. Great Britain, the Kingdom of Spain and Sicily, the Kingdom of Prussia, the Holy Empire, the Kingdom of Portugal, of Bohemia, and of Hungary. I know, Louis. I know. The coalition against France also gives me cause for concern. I'm certainly not saying that, on paper, Mortimer's plan seems very viable. Anyway, you haven't really said what you wanted to say. Tell me, Louis. What have you come here to sell me? You should join home. And why would I do that? This type of meeting might be familiar to you, but for me, I must admit, Mr. President, it's all a bit over my head. It's only natural, Louis. But you are managing rather well for a first-timer. You've chosen the wrong allies, that's all. I hope my mother doesn't hold it against me if I've made a mistake. Anyway, if Lord Mortimer does succeed, it would be no mean feat. Did he tell you what he would gain from it? What do you mean? Well, Mortimer's plan has been meticulously prepared for many years, I imagine. Of that you can be sure. It's only natural, and his plan leaves nothing to chance. No, that's what... He never commits his own fortune let alone his reputation, since you're the one who takes center stage here. In fact... Whether he wins or loses, everything is arranged so that he comes out of it intact. Yes, I... Ah, you've got to hand it to <clears> him, <throat> though. He's a master at putting together a plan which puts himself at no risk. That's true. Don't worry, he... You can trust him. Of course. I'll bet he's invested in a river transport company on the Mississippi or somewhere like that. It's true, I had never thought about what he might have to gain. Tell me what Sir Gregory has to offer that I don't already have with Lord Mortimer. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's the wrong one. I meant to do that. You are a man of conviction, well, Mr. President. You would never make a, a choice that could that cost the American people very dearly. If Mortimer falls, he will bring the United States down with him. Haven't the American people suffered enough? I would never do anything that would put my people in danger. Exactly. Therefore, choose your allies wisely, sir. I must admit, your arguments do make sense, Louis. Louis, you convinced me. I congratulate yes. you for your performance. <laughs> That's what's up. Got Washington to join our side because I didn't think it could happen. I merely exposed the facts to you. Don't spoil everything with your false modesty now. 
You really were very good, and that's that. In any case, I shall follow you on this one. This may well arouse Lord Mortimer's wrath, but I must put the United States before anything else. Have we finished, Louis? Absolutely, Mr. President. I shan't keep you any longer. Allow me to take my leave. Good night, Louis. Get some rest. Tomorrow will be a very big day. Well, that's one thing out of the way. The only thing left to do is wait for the conference to resume tomorrow morning. Time to go sleepy seats. Ah, gee, there's my room. Good evening, Monsieur le Francais. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? That's not what I said. Ah, oh, by the way, congratulations on choosing Sir Gregory this evening. You surprised me. I wasn't expecting it. Why, Emily, can't you read me like an open book? Not as well as you read me, it would seem. I'll teach you if you'd like. There's nothing I'd like more. Tell me, are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? I've seen her, Emily. What? When was that? A little earlier, just before the conference. She was hiding. And did you manage to speak to her? She's not the same. I, I don't know what's been happening to her, but she's changed. I found her in a deplorable state with, with one of her hands cut off. Like she was saying crazy things, bordering on delirium. What? Did you say one of her hands was cut off? What happened to her? <sighs> I don't know. She she wouldn't say. And did she tell you why she, why? Oh, I remember. Why she shot me. Emma? No, unfortunately, we were unable to broach the subject. She seemed terribly upset, Emily. There's something strange going on here. She was fearful of something or someone. Excuse me, Louis, but until we see proof of the contrary, she's the one who is sowing death everywhere she goes. We are the ones who ought to be fearful. I know. I know. No, I apologize for that remark. Who do you think she's hiding from? Mortimer? I don't know. Maybe. Louis, I don't want to pile it on, but I would understand her feelings there. You ought to be wary of Mortimer. He's a manipulator, a liar, a coward who doesn't assume his responsibilities at all. What exactly happened between you two, Emily? You're so radically against him. Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Oh, snap. They're PS2 kissing here. <laughs> Come, Louis. Their models aren't touching, and their mouths are closed. Go to bed. Yeah, just went with someone. <laughs> My friends, do not worry. Oh boy. I assure you that Lord Mortimer's plan will never see the light of day. I shall deal with informing our allies, but for the time being, I need you to make a stand. What do you think about Monsieur de Richet? I don't know yet. I feel there's great potential in him. He looks like he can be trusted. Why isn't he with us? He was opposed to Mortimer. I'll wait and see. I'm still not sure of his position. And uh, Duchess Hillsborough. Oh, why isn't she here? She's busy. Don't worry about her. Oh, isn't it time to replace her? Not so fast, sir. She is an important figure. You ought to have a little more faith in her. What are we going to do about Washington? He will be a hard nut to crack. On our chessboard, he is Mortimer's king. Don't worry. Mr. President only wants one thing, to keep his dear America united. He won't jeopardize everything he has achieved on a whim. 
He has been serving Mortimer for quite some time. It won't be easy to uh, bring him around. I have asked Monsieur de Richet to approach him. Let us have faith in him. I sense that Mr. Peru is about to surprise us too. Yet he is Mortimer's strong arm in France. He knows his time has come, and I believe he is intelligent enough to realize it means he is no longer any use to Mortimer. Do you feel all right, Mr. Godoy? You haven't said a word. Please, excuse me, gentlemen. I feel tired. Oh. Interesting. I see. I think it is high time you left us then. Now! Interesting. It's a very, very interesting group of people. <clears throat> Emily? Emily? Are you there? Sir, the conference is about to begin. You are expected in the conference room. Tell them I'm coming. Thank you. Come on, Louis. The game is back on. My friends, the conference is about to begin. Please excuse me if I troubled you last night with my project. I understand that you might well have a few questions to ask. As you know, the final vote will be cast in a few days. This morning's aim is to answer your questions and check the temperature of your respective positions so that we may reach a greater <coughs> understanding. As always, Lord Mortimer. Uh, we parted in perfect disagreement, my lord. Where would you like us to take it from? Come, sir. Please let William believe he still has a chance of winning us over. Otherwise, his imprecations will lack panache, and we shall be bored stiff. Oh, let me reassure you, I am convinced that a good night's sleep has brought sound advice, and that this morning will be even more interesting. Therefore, I would like to go around <laughs> the table in order to hear everyone's first impressions. Well, I am still firmly against it. Even though my choice won't count. Against. 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 And you, Luke Manuel? Against, of course. Well, as for me, I am for Lord Mortimer's project. Despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal attentions. What? So Emily was playing at trying to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How could it be otherwise? And by the way, remember me to your husband when you see him. And you, President Washington, what is your position? Well, you see, Monsieur Bonaparte, I would rather you'd have forgotten me for a minute. William, I am sorry, but I <laughs> cannot We effectively turn Washington. George? What? I am against William. Please excuse me. I cannot commit the United States to such an enterprise. It's just too risky. Well... That leaves just yourself and Monsieur Peru, Louis. You're all making me sick. Look at yourselves. What? You are pathetic! Have you been drinking or what? There you are, quibbling away. My Lord Dumis and Madame Dugestat. You know very well that we're nothing but need. puppets on a dance street. Jacques, come in. Let's end the charade. It's over. Jacques. My Lord, thank you for everything you've done for me over the years. But it didn't come for free. And now I see the price is too high to pay. I'll stop. Come, Jack. <clears throat> we'll talk it over. No, I'm finished. I want my freedom back, my lord. I shall no longer work for Shit. you. Oh, no, I'm gonna Wait. try to save him. To reset. You just can't help it, can you? Only chance. Oh, God. Hero, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, what are, what are his weaknesses? Right now, what are his weaknesses? We got Peru. Okay. He's weak to psychology, but he can't be moved by questioning. Okay. We still don't know everything. Psychology, right here. Okay. Monsieur, 
I know I don't really know you, but you seem like a decent person. I have done so many horrible things. You blame yourself, I can see that. Everything's not lost. I don't want to do bad things anymore. You can take control of yourself again. You can fix whatever it is you've done. Do you really believe that? Of course, Jack. You'll have all the time you need. Oh. Okay, okay. So I can do... It's going to be alright, or... Let's stand together. I can do both of them. Jack, do you're let's not stand alone. Together. There's nothing you can do <clears throat> against him. Of course there is. We've already started. How can you say that, knowing he's already probably gotten rid of your mother, Louis? No, he hasn't. She's still here. She's alive, Jack. But... Yes, trust me. This is not who you are. You're better than that. You don't know me. Yes, I do. I know you're no coward, so give me your weapon, please. But There's I... There's nothing to fear. I'm right here. I don't want... Let's see. Did we get all of his stuff? No, there's still more, Talk but to he's vulnerable to don't etiquette. Worry. You're safe now, Jack. <clears throat> Monsieur Peru, you could have seriously hurt someone if Monsieur de Richet here hadn't stopped you. Savior. One skill in psychology. Your behavior is unacceptable. <clears throat> you do better to go and rest in your apartment. My friends, we shall continue the conference later. I would like to apologize Ooh. for the inexcusable Save behavior them. of my guest. We all need to recover from all of this excitement. All Take because I had just day enough day stuff to, to do it. Oh, man. Holy crap. God damn. This didn't fail anything. Alternate paths were there, though. <clears throat> oh, so close to another level. That's okay. That's okay. All right. We're gonna... Put it all into manipulation. Let's do this. Can own that. Dangerous stakes. Eighth quest. I don't understand. I spoke to him only recently. Monsieur Perrou has lost his mind. It's obvious. Yet another way for the French to make a spectacle of themselves. Well, once again, it has worked. My friends, let us settle down, please. We are all in shock, of course. Let us celebrate Louis' courage. He enabled us to avert a tragedy. Yes, that was very noble of you, Louis. You have given us all a fine lesson in courage. <clears throat> I... Thank you. He owes you his life. That's quite something. That madman deserves to die. We are providing Monsieur Pedro with care, but rest assured, he is no longer a danger to it's himself rude. or anyone else. I think everyone needs a little rest. Can you stay a moment? Of course. Okay, so now he wants to talk to us. Louis, I wanted to thank you personally. I admire what you did to save Monsieur Peru's life. You have given us all a wonderful lesson in courage. Don't mention it, my lord. You would have done the same. I was just quicker. Ah, humility is a fine quality, sir. Where is he now? In his room. I've sedated him. I don't want him trying to take his life again. Or worse yet, attacking one of the guests. When in despair, Monsieur Peru is clearly a dangerous man. Ooh, Mortimer. You need a conviction in science. Ooh. 
Tell me, my lord, what did you expect of him exactly? I found it difficult to understand what his role was here. In fact, I asked him here to speak about our collaboration. His mission was soon to come to an end, and I was hoping to persuade him to slow down. I had a few interesting missions abroad to propose to him. Did you tell him that? I just let him know that perhaps it was time to move on to something else. On that note, my lord, I'll be leaving you. Have we covered everything? Absolutely. Oh, Louis, one more thing, please. What a pity you didn't support me during the conference. I hope I can count on you on the day of the vote. This major project needs men like you, Louis. And you never know, right? Maybe by then, I'll see things differently. Well, thank you for allowing me to believe in that possibility, Louis. From here on, <laughs> I shall make it my mission to persuade you to change your vote. Be my guest. But I hope your arguments are very, very persuasive, because I'm not the only one who isn't on your side. Oh, rest assured, I am working on it. Very well, then. I'll see you later, my lord. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Why is it that he sounds so creepy every time he picks up an item? Ember. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. It's so creepy all the time. I don't understand. Like, he says it like he's stalking somebody. God, I need more th items, more things. I already mentioned it yesterday. I got the you from someone else. Impossible to tell with you people. Yes, sir. Your guess is not sufficient. Tell the others for crying out loud. Remember to close my window once you've done my room. This isn't Corsica, you know. I'm freezing. Of course, sir. I'll see to it straight away. Monsieur Bonaparte. Sorry, Dorishi. I have no time for traitors such as yourself. I beg your pardon. Wow. If you are here, it's because Lord Mortimer agreed to include you. And what's the first thing that you do? You betray him by following Sir Gregory and bending over backwards to turn Washington against him. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was free to vote as I pleased. I didn't realize I had to vote for Lord Mortimer in order to show my gratitude toward him. Hey, he invited me here to come and look for my missing mother during his high society party. I'm sorry, truly sorry. I don't know all your customs yet. It's just common decency that when invited to a man's castle, you don't go and to pee on his boots. Is it too much to ask? I guess it is. Jesus, what a prick. Jacques Peru. If I can talk Sorry, to Sorry, sir, him. but you cannot go through. Oh, okay. We have very clear instructions from Lord <coughs> Mortimer. Monsieur Peru must rest. Oh, well, I mean, that's fair. Oh, why am I? Monsieur Jacques Peru. Am I stuck? What's going on? I, I, I literally can't move. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> that worried me. Pull me in. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. I haven't been in her room yet. <clears throat> no answer. Nothing. Let's see if I can get in there. Emily? Emily, are you there? Emily! Yes. Louis, is that you? Yes, let me in. I I'm sorry, Louis. I don't feel very well. I'll see you later. 
Are you sure everything's all right? Are you still there? Hmm, something's going on. What in the world? Jesus. All right. Uh, maybe good doy? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I can just walk into his fucking room. Okay. I have no time. I was about to join Sir Gregory. Come back later. I wanted to talk to you a moment. And I am expected. I'm sorry. We shall talk later. Fine then. I guess I'll just go to my room. God. Next time, I'll listen to my mother. Yeah. Not a day has gone by without something happening to me. What now? Louis, open up, please. Coming, Mr. President, I'm coming. Louis, ah, oh, there you are at last. Yes, I... I just saw your mother. She was accompanied by Emily, and they both went into the Duchess's room. I tried to join them, the but I was refused in? entry. Louis, this does not bode well. Oh, shit. Emily might want to avenge your sister. I must act quickly. You're right, Mr. President. Thank you. Emily's voice. I can't understand what she's saying. I can't open it. It must be blocked on the other side. I'll have to find another way in. Quick. Okay, I know that, let's see, going through here, yes, okay, okay, can I, is there Carmelite water. stuff in here? They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Alright, cool. I have to get inside Emily's room through the, shit, it's locked. Jesus Christ. Skills are not high enough for how little effort points I have. Finesse. I wanted subterfuge. Is that Emily's room? It's as if there are several people inside. Once again, you're the one who's the victim in all this. What are you on about now? I should never have told you what happened to me. A letter from William Pitt the Younger addressed I'm not that naive. He's the present Prime Minister Golden and Lixir. We'll end up using What on earth is You Mother? How dare you do this to me? You can talk after everything I've done for you. You are doing Oh shit. Right? I gave you my life. That's enough. Yup. <clears throat> now that Louis is here, you will leave Sarah alone. Cease your revenge immediately. What? What? If you think you're going to... Louis, help me, I beg you. I can no longer reason with her. I am Emily. Quit playing games. I... What? Honestly, don't be ridiculous. No. I am Emily. 
You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. After everything we've been through together. Yes, well... Don't you dare bring him into this. This is between you and me. I ask for nothing more, so stop taking it out on Sarah. I... You frizzy little bitch! How dare you! Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? You are joking, I hope. I'm the one Shit, who I've told you everything going on while you were Fuck. away. Go on, then. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to kill me? Go on, then. Shoot! After all the trouble I've gone through to find you. Go on. What are you waiting for? Here, Louis, take this. Wait, what's going on? An entire life for this. Go on, shoot. Sorry, Louis, I, I can't shoot her. She's my sister. I That's enough, Emma. Louis, out of the way. She's dangerous. Don't trust her. What are you trying to do? Louis, out of the way. I am not Emma. Come on, Louis, tell her who the real Emily is. Wait, I... That's right, Louis. I'm fed up with this little game. Tell him who the real Emily is. Why do these things always happen to me? Well, <laughs> Louis, come on, you know how to tell us apart, right? Yes, yes, but I'd like to ask you a few questions to make sure there's no doubt. Rational and open, Louis. Let's see. How can I tell them apart? Oh my god. Wait. I've got an idea. <sighs> On the night okay. arrival. On the wharf, something happened to me. What happened exactly? You felt unwell. You had a nosebleed, and I offered you my handkerchief. I told her all that already. It was me who told you. Right. Let's find something else. Ah, yes. Okay. Let's speak about my arrival at the manor. Questioning. Can she... She begins questioning. Psychology. On the night of our arrival, we were warming ourselves in front of the fire. Mortimer Shit. welcome. <laughs> it just told me who's who. Did it? it did. I used questioning on the twin behind me, and it said Lady Hillsboro um, immunity revealed. I go to Emily. Questioning isn't on there. I go to Emma. Questioning revealed. That wasn't there before. It said to be discovered. So I just found out that Emma's the one behind well played, me. Louis. Unfortunately, I'm not the one you should have asked that question to. Mortimer did not welcome us. It was Sir Gregory who welcomed us that night. Mortimer didn't show up until two days later. I know that as well. Very well. Let's try something else. On the first night, we went up to bed, but I wasn't tired. I went for a little stroll. Before going to bed, I, I went for a stroll. Did we speak to each other during that stroll? You must be mistaken. After going up to bed, I went straight to sleep. But she knows all that, Louis. I already told her. Don't think you're going to get away with this deception so easily. I can assure you, you're going to regret pretending to be me once Louis has exposed you. Right. I don't think I'll get very far like this. I'll have to find something better. Oh, I don't think I'll even wait until he's finished. Take it easy now. Are you mad, Louis? Lower your arm. Oh, I better act quickly if I don't want things to get out of hand. Come on, she's putting one over on you. Look at yourself for crying out loud. You were prepared to shoot me down. In the secret room behind the study. Talk to them about what you've been doing. 
Maybe they haven't spoken about it between each other yet. On the night of the disappearance of Elizabeth Adams. What about it? What do you want to know about that night? We found ourselves in Mortimer's secret gallery. What relics did we find? Property deeds in Mortimer's name dating from very long ago. Is that all? You mean all those mythological charms? So, there was the so-called Pandora's box that wasn't a box, actually. The famous golden fleece that reeked of dead goat. A broken sword that could have belonged to anyone. Is that enough? Yes, that's enough. You look captivated. Of course, he bought it. That's enough! I've had enough of this charade. Louis, there's only one way to tell us apart. There's just one thing I didn't tell her about in detail. Too bad for you, Emma. I didn't want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Ask her about you and I. You just lost Emma. I indeed didn't tell you everything about it. Come, Louis. Speak about our intimacy. Very well. Let's talk about us. Last night, you came to me in my room. What exactly did we talk about? We spoke briefly about your choices during the conference, Louis. What do you mean? Yes, Emma. It just so happens I didn't tell you everything. You I never told you about this part. I hate you! That's enough, both of you. Now I know who the real Emily is. But didn't it just... Tell me that when I questioned, but then she just called her a slut. I don't. Now I'm confused. I still think it's her. It's you. I, don't th I still Emily. think she's the real one. No, Louis. She is manipulating you. You think you identified the no, true Emily Hillsborough? It's her. I know it. <laughs> Despite all the trouble you've gone to to put one over on me, I know it is her. That's enough now, Emma. You little slut. Don't think you are going to get away with this so easily. You are going to stop your little game right now. Never. I am Duchess Hills. No. <laughs> Shit. Emily? I am the Duchess. But you don't. I. Dear God, what have I done? See what you've done. See? Louis? Mother! What on earth is. Go away! 
You must go. Everyone is going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? Duchess, is everything all right? Come on, Louis. There's nothing more you can do. But I... Leave us. Emily, what's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be I waiting for you. Emily. Madam, I am coming in. It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her. Please, go. I'll cover you. I think I picked what? the right one. What are you doing there? Stop! God damn it. Now what's going on? Go meet mother in the garden crypt. Oh shit, what the hell? On Volner? Oh, mother probably knocked him out. Does he have anything that I can use right now? He doesn't, does he? The one thing I can get to requires an agility point, and I have no points at all. God damn it. Good God. They're all here. They must have heard the gunshot. Where is Lord Mortimer? Can anyone hear anything through the door? Did you hear that? I was not dreaming, was I? Certainly not, Duke Godoy. What's going on? Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Gentlemen, go back to your rooms. Go back to your rooms. I shall find out from Lord Mortimer what this is all about. Thank you. Can I convince the servant? My instructions are clear, sir. No one is to well, not enter. this one at least. Is there another servant down here that I can talk to again? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. Jelly and caramelite. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? A little Carmelite water would do me a lot of good. Could you find me some, please? Oh, the tonics are under lock and key, sir. Lord Mortimer only allows access to them in cases of emergency. Listen, I suffer from terrible migraines, and the voyage by boat has brought on my rheumatism. So, unless you have anything else Servants. to alleviate the pain, please give me some quickly. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, and, and the one from Bordeaux, right? I prefer it to the one from Paris. Immediately, sir. Here. I hope, sir, we'll get well again quickly. Anything else, sir? My good fellow, would you have any amber available? I would. But, unfortunately, I don't think I am authorized to give it out, sir. I believe it is a precious stone. Ah, uh, oh, I still haven't quite recovered after that boat crossing. Would you happen to have any Devil's Thorn by any chance? I, I am sorry, sir, but the Devil's Thorn may be just a plant, but it is also a powerful psychotropic drug that causes undesirable diuretic effects. I would advise against, sir, taking any. You see, Tribulus cystoides is from the Zygophilaceae family, very rich in nitrates and potassium Here chloride. Here is another vulnerability. It was used in <laughs> India 700 years before Christ, my good fellow. Nice. And I know nothing better to perk you up. Oh, as sir wishes. Here is the herb, sir. May I help you in anything else, sir? No, I'm good. Okay, let's see. I need to get out. Um, go through there. If I can 
come across any other Santa's little helpers around here. Maybe some that I wasn't able to pick up before. Here's one. Got another Carmelite. That's good. Jelly, there we go. Another royal jelly. Golden elixir. The song of Roland. Oh, Roland feeleth his it. death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Devil's thorn. I'll keep it. Devil's thorn. Bitch, the wrong way. There we go. There we go. I found it. I found it. Let's go talk to mommy. Louis, oh, mother last, dearest. Mother, Will you just let me are... explore this area, please, Mother? Come, we have to be quick. God. No, wait, Mother, I... Time is running Apparently out, Louis. First, we must... No. That's enough. I won't go a step further unless you explain to me what is going on here. I'm begging you. Talk to me. I'm... You must trust me, my son. You are not ready yet. Refilling. You are the one who should trust <laughs> me. Tell me what's happening. You would never believe me. I came all the way here for you. Now I've found you. I'm ready, Mother. This feels it's like we'd be only, out of, like, episode five, but this is only episode three. We're only halfway through the game here. Open and logical. I know you are going to find it hard to believe, but what I am going to reveal to you is entirely true. Many years ago, I found out that demons really do live among us. I beg your pardon? And that they can influence our thoughts. Mother, listen to yourself. I know you're exhausted, but for crying out loud, listen to what you're saying. Demons? <laughs> what next? An ancient monster with a head like an octopus? What do your demons look like? Have they got horns and a, a pointed tail? No, these are not creatures with billy goat's legs. Forget your Christian folklore. Imagine them more as parasitic spirits. I like that they he just casually mentioned Cthulhu. And direct them from inside. Parasitic spirits? Yes, they are capable of going from one body to another as they see fit. And two of them are present on this island. Right, so let me guess. Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory, right? You felt it too? No, even if home does look the part. But I don't know who else could do it, given that we're on their territory. Many years ago, well before you were born, I crossed paths with one of them. Since then, I've spent my life trying to find it again. When we recovered the Alizif, 
I was persuaded that Von Burchard was working for this demon in one way or another. But I thought he would hand the book to a middleman during this conference. That's where I made an error, an error that could well turn out to be fatal. The one who Burchard was meant to give the book to was none other than the demon in person, Mortimer. Not to mention that Holm had sent Volner to get it for him. Holm and Mortimer are demons? They both seem to disagree about many things, but I'll admit I never knew exactly why. There are many of them, Louis, not just those two. Mother, have you any proof to support any of this? Of course, but you do too. You had everything laid out in front of you. Didn't you notice anything? Well, those property deeds across the world, all signed by the same hand, and over several centuries. I am proud of you, Louis. I found your notes, written in lemon juice. Where all eyes size you up. At one stage, I was so afraid of losing my mind that I noted everything down. Congratulations, Louis. Wait, please tell me you didn't open Pandora's box. The urn? Oh. Yes, Oops. I did. Why? <laughs> Too bad. We'll deal with it later. <laughs> I must admit, I found it difficult to understand how and why Mortimer didn't have a place in history. On the continent, Mortimer and Holm are mere dandies who organize society balls. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. No one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. I went beyond the Nightmare Mother. You understood the Masonic date. 1191. Of course, it was during that siege that the demon took possession of Sir Mortimer. They spent a whole night in conversation until the early hours of the morning. Mortimer had passed the test. He had charmed the demon, and so it chose him to be its host for centuries to come. But tell me, did you find his secret study? I did indeed. Did you see his maps of the world? He has contacts the world over. Yes, I've been developing the Golden Order across the world for many years, and I've never seen anyone with such influence. It's simply inhuman. You mean the conference? How can you explain that someone manages to bring together so many important figures without anyone knowing? And without any security or personnel? Louis, I am proud of you. You came all this way. You found me. You have surpassed me. You taught me everything I know. Right. How did it all begin? I saw him! What, what do you mean, you saw him? I was 20 years old. I was young and carefree. I traveled the world in search of adventure. In the Persian Gulf, we came across an ancient grimoire that became unlocked. Composed of seven parts, each one was a book in itself, set in a sort of metal armor that structured the whole thing. When all the volumes were brought together, they formed a single book. On my return to Paris, I set to studying these pages. I spent all my days and nights studying them. Oh, I can imagine you doing that. But the writing was in a language I had never seen before. Developed well before Sumerian, in my opinion. So I got the idea to form a small before occult circle Sumerian. composed of all Damn. the major names in the occult <clears throat> world to see if anyone else could crack it. And you found no one. And I found someone, Louis. I found him. Or rather, he found me. He was young, charismatic. He was flamboyant. You mean Mortimer? He was a veritable mine of knowledge. I showed him the book, and he was able to decipher a few passages. We spent several months together studying the pages. He helped me understand certain passages, until I realized that he only translated a few parts for me. But I had aroused his interest. It was too late. How so? I mean to say he manipulated me. He used me, and in the end, he stole the book with all its secrets. Did he ever go to your place? Not once. At least I don't think so. 
But before disappearing, he proposed a pact between us. He proposed that I follow him and let him teach me, allow him to bring me up. And you refused, of course. Why naturally, Louis. You don't make deals with the devil. After that, I spent my whole life looking for him. Three years later, in Berlin, I just missed him. In London, I lost six members of the order in a chase. In 1741, Jesus. in Tunisia, I found a sect of fanatics who had crossed paths with him once. 1741, in Poland. 1749, in India. Eight years ago, in Venice. We agreed never to speak about what happened in Venice, Louis. You agreed, and that was before you spoke to me about demons. Wait, the baby we delivered, you and me, that night in Venice, did he have anything to do with Lord Mortimer? The child was his son. We stole his son? Are you insane? I always thought we took him to save him. That was the case. Jesus it Christ. was precisely to save him from his father. Need I remind you the mother died during childbirth? What became of the child? Later. For the moment, that is not the key issue here. Once we found the Alizip in Paris, it's still an issue. Trail what here. The I didn't think it would lead me straight to the demon. It was careless of me. He toyed with me for a few days, until I caught on, until I saw him as he was. But he had no intention of letting me leave. We are all his pawns, Louis, and if we don't want to spend the rest of our lives turning round in circles here, we must absolutely get off this island. All right, can we move on? Wait a minute, one last thing. I want to know what happened with Elizabeth Adams. Louis, we haven't time for those details. I'm sorry, Mother, but I want to know. She was one of the receptacles for these monsters. I met her parents when she was born. One of the demons got inside her. The demon used her to spy on her father, John Adams. He is one of the founding fathers and vice president of the United States, you know. Mortimer possessed her? No, I don't think it was Mortimer. Her father, John Adams, hired me to tend to her, but the evil in her was too deep. In spite of the various treatments I tried on her, I never succeeded in getting it out of her. It's not something I'm proud of, Louis, but I had to try everything. What did you negotiate about the Alazif with Volner? Absolutely nothing. I managed to pull the wool over his eyes until I found a way to flee. I want to know what happened between you and Emily's sister. Great responsibility often brings difficult choices, Louis. That's all you need to know. Mother, I won't take a step further if you don't answer me. Seductive. Use manipulation ten times. You dare blackmail <clears throat> me? I'm listening. All right, I used her. So there you are. Happy now? We had the Al-Azif. And I didn't think we would be able to escape with it. In order to ensure that the book did not fall into their hands, or that one of them couldn't read in us where we had hidden it, I asked Emily to... It's Emma. Yes, or rather for me, it was Emily. So I asked Emma to hide it without anyone seeing. And then I disposed of her. I am sorry for her, but she was part of the Golden Order, Louis. She knew the rules when she joined. What was going on with the cannons in Tuscany? It was <clears throat> nothing. Since when does the Order finance wars? The cannons for that Bonaparte fellow? Listen. Once in the lion's den, I did whatever I could to appear legitimate. So yes, I pretended to be interested in Mortimer's project about a young military man who was seeking funding for a foundry in Tuscany. Between you and me, if buying China would have enabled me to escape, I would have signed without hesitation. Samuel Ritter du Chois, you wanted to send me a letter about Godoy. I wanted you to run a check on Duke Manuel, but frankly, it doesn't really matter anymore now. Godoy is just a pawn like the others. He is not the one I was looking for. 
On the evening of my arrival, Cardinal Piaggi came looking for you. He was determined to give you a letter. More of his lists. Louis, I think I know what's in that letter, and I beseech you to believe that it is the least of our worries. We can sort that Having out. Having troubles later. over there, wifey? Yes. <laughs> you know, I found your package under a wharf plank. As a matter of fact, I needed it yesterday. I wasn't expecting anyone to take it. Oof. Are you going to tell me what happened to your hand? Better than that, I shall show you. Good. I think that's about right. We shall speak about it once we get back to France. Great actions for humanity have been decided by demons for centuries, Louis. They are playing with our destiny. We are their slaves. And it's time for it to stop. By the way, what was Mortimer's project at this conference? He demands that the Spanish hand over Louisiana to France. Oh, knowing him, it won't stop there. We should do our utmost to put a stop to Mortimer's plans. But for the time being, there are more pressing matters. Now she's gonna show me what happened to her hand. There. That's why we are here. Nazareth, Bethlehem, Bethesda. Reassure me, we aren't going to have to fort. Cult mastery. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Ending an opportunity successfully will now return one effort point to you. Are we? I don't think we're even capable of doing it. You're going to. Veteran? Ooh, we got an achievement. Prayer achievement. We're just skilled to level three. Nice. Veteran. Another achievement. Double game. Complete the ninth quest. Well, there's veteran. Reach level Find ten. A way to open it. Why, of course. And what's inside? Something to vanquish them with. Perfect. So, how does it open? We'll need several keys. I found a note from the architect who conceived the mechanism in Mortimer's secret study. We have to first gather six objects before we try anything. Are your six objects the keys? Exactly. We have the Clement III cross, the nails, the Gutenberg Bible, the exegesis of Judas, an armillary sphere, and all we need to match up the dates between the different calendars. Some nails? The nails. Don't ask me. I'm not the one who made the mechanism, you know. When I arrived, I know the nails there were already a few inserted, so I didn't have to worry about those. On the other hand, I remember seeing some in Mortimer's secret study, behind oh. his nightmare. In a golden cup? Yes. Yes, I saw them too. Perfect. It will be easy for you to find them then. You need three of them. Very well. You remember what to do about the rollers. 1191 to enter. And 6466 to exit. Of course. Why a cross? Well, I haven't the foggiest idea, but it just so happens that's what you are going to use to activate the mechanism. I found the one Mortimer kept. It belonged to Cardinal Guibert, better known by the name of Pope Clement III. Perfect. Where is it? Unfortunately, I've lost it. When I lost my hand, oh, I went dashing lost. out, and it must have fallen from my pocket. Well, so it's probably in here then, because she lost her hand in here, I think. Remember, Mother, I I'm certain you can remember. Let me think. You were running? I was bleeding to death. You remember the pain? I thought I was going to faint. Yes, I remember. I don't think it can be far, can it? 
Would you have lost it outside? No, I don't think so. It must be in the area. I don't remember going up with it. So it's gonna Perfect. be in here. I'll search the crypt before leaving. <clears throat> An exegesis. Anything else? Hmm. You... Did you manage to vanquish the Medusa? To open the chimney? Yes, absolutely. So you've already come across it. It's the Bible of Judas that is exposed in the secret room mm. behind the chimney. Why do they call it an exegesis? Because that's what it is, and not an apocryphal Bible, strictly speaking. It's the study of a text with a summary, not an actual Bible. Anyway, well done for the <coughs> Gorgon. You did well. You didn't get tricked by the light bouncing back. Thanks. Do you think I can take it safely? We haven't got a choice, Louis. Without it, we won't be able to work out this cursed mechanism. There's one in the portrait gallery. Yes, but it's enormous. If you don't want to have to go back and forth several times, then I suggest you get a smaller one. What did you do then? I didn't think I'd need one. I started without one, and I lost my hand before I did need one. And you can see the result. Fair. And our Millery's fear, so we need a small There's one. There's one in the portrait gallery. That's right. You still believe it's in the tower room, don't you? I don't know. There is only one way to find out, though. Right. I shall go and see. What do you mean by the concordance of dates, exactly? Don't worry about that. We already have them. They are written on the back of the message I just gave you. One last thing before you go. Be very <coughs> careful. If you come across anyone, they can all potentially be spies of Mortimer or Holm. Don't ever confide in anyone because a demon can slip inside them at any moment. Wait, not all of them, though. Take Washington. Especially Washington. He's been conditioned by Mortimer for years. Look at them for crying out loud. How do you explain their behavior otherwise? The most influential politicians in the Western world gather together without the least protection, without a single aid to assist them, to participate in a conference during which the guests start dropping like flies. Me, Adams, Peru, Hillsborough. Look at the number of calamities that have happened over the past few days. And not one of them has asked to leave the island? Do you find that normal? You'll see. Go up to the manor to look for the keys, and I wager not one of them will speak to you about my being in Emily's room. Do you think so? Go on, you'll see and come back with all the objects in one go. Time is against us. And remember, the code to get out of the secret office is 6646. Yes, yes. It's actually 6466. She, she reversed it. Her voice line was different from the text line. No, it would be 6646. So the text was wrong. <laughs> Oh, I haven't found any more manuscripts. That sucks. Balls. All right, guys, since we got a lot ahead of us, uh, I'm going to call it here for the night. And um, considering we have... got five days until the release of swan song i might i might end up streaming sunday and thursday this week so we can get through the council um we'll see we'll see i'll make the announcement on the discord like normal um <clears throat> but yeah i'll let you guys know uh, all right guys well thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it uh i really appreciate your guys support I will potentially see you guys tomorrow. Um, but just in case, have a great weekend. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, I love you. Bye.